This is the MIDI vintage hairstyle and haircut that you guys have all been looking forward to. The tutorial took a little bit longer than expected, but I hope you like it. Hello YouTube people out there, how are you, you gorgeous, glamorous stylists? Um, the MIDI haircut, amazing. I've looked for it everywhere. Um, how do you cut it? I've looked through um, the internet pages. I've only come up with a few Pinterest like pictures with like weird bits and pieces of um, of like drawings with like beautiful glamorous women with lines all over their faces. I'm sure people back then knew what that meant, but we don't now. And um, so I used my little nut and sort of like like deciphered it really and um, and like some Egyptian hieroglyphic like master actually found out how to do it and I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. My name is Magic Michael Davids, your host and stylist for today's session. Now before we get started make sure that you guys hit that like button and subscribe to Buffon Delacroix's channel. Coming in at number five, what exactly is a MIDI haircut? The MIDI haircut was, I think it was like really iconic um, back in the 1940s and 50s and it really shaped the beauty and glamour of that era. Basically, it's a haircut where... Basically, um, if you start with a really, really, really long bob, um, you can explain to your client that she needs to have the layers cut really short around the front and then scoop down into a horseshoe shape down at the back. We're going to be showing you how to do that right now. Coming in at number four, how to pre prepare your client's hair for this hairstyle. Isn't she pretty? Um, it's really easy to cut long hair into a midi hairstyle. If you've got somebody that's got short hair, you need to sort of tell them to throw them out and then they'll get like really pissed off with you and it's, like it's, it's awkward. So clearly you need to shampoo your client's hair just to prepare it for their hairstyle. It's very important to wet your client's hair down, otherwise you will do a bad haircut. Well, simple really, isn't it? Coming in at number three is how to cut your client's hair. Like how do we cut a midi hairstyle? Two, four sections. Um, two parts at the front and two parts at the back and I'm going to be showing you how to do this right now. And now we're going to start the arduous task of brushing Dolly through. Now anyone who's had a Dolly like this knows exactly how horrific and terrifying this is. Um, as you can see at the moment, um, Dolly has got long hair at the front, so we're going to be bringing that up to about there, I think. Normally people like it around their chin line, so you can actually, when you style it out, you can get that beautiful curve in the front. And then we're going to be cutting down around there with a few layers in there as well. So I'll let you um, see how we do that. Now we're looking at how to try to find our part. I'm pretty sure you know how to part your hair, and on Dolly, it is pretty difficult. Um, this one goes a little bit behind the, um, the ear, but it's only because of the shape of Dolly's head. Normally you'd be aiming for somewhere around the top of the ear, or just behind. So we're going to take our sections from the top and down either side, so we part the hair um, basically in half and then brush all the front forward and clip the front in place. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating a horseshoe around the back there. So we're going for a long midi style. And we're gonna take a section right from the top of our head, right down through the back and then part it in half. Split the hair down the back and create a rounded shape by taking each section higher on the sides and down towards the centre. I've already taken the first few sections to speed things up just a little bit. Excuse my um, sectioning, I'm just trying to make it nice and easy so you guys can see. But we're still um, taking a rounded section. Just tidy that up. It. 
Now comb all the hair down and cut off the desired length. I recommend about three inches below the shoulders. Then we bring it out again. As you're cutting the hair, make sure you pull it out on a 90 degree angle so you get that lovely curved shape. So we start to create that, that horseshoe shape right there. And then we do the same on the other side. So what we're actually doing is we're pulling the hair out at exactly the same angle as the section that we've taken on the top of the head and then cutting it off accordingly. That creates the horseshoe shape. So even though the hair is wet, you can actually see we're starting to get that beautiful curved shape there. And as I said before, we're going to be bringing the next layer down. I'm going to be cheeky and cheat and just create a scoop section up the top there. So I'm going to brush that down. So using your last section as a guideline, you basically just cut along the edges. It's sort of like trying to colour in between the lines. So we're basically cutting an inch off um, all around, but because our section is in a horseshoe shape there, we're just cutting off an inch from where the, um, the hair meets the scalp. It really is as easy as cutting a horseshoe shape into a piece of paper and just following the guideline. There we go, you can actually see that starting to form now. And then, our last section. Well, our last section for the back anyway. Go and see how that's just going up on that nice angle there. And then we're to the other side. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to bring Dolly around the side and we're just going to aim at first just to cut all of this to the same length as the very last piece that we've got here. So actually, I know it seems silly right now, but we're just going to be cutting straight across. Like this into a bob. Cutting the hair into a bob is just going to layer the foundations that we're going to need later on in order to create that beautiful scooped up style at the front of the face. And then our last section on this side, which is um, Dolly's right side, I think. I've always been a little bit dyslexic, so <laughs> there's actually not that much to cut off there. Now, let's um, turn Dolly around and do the other side. And then another section. This is basically a repeat of what we just did on the other side. There you go! Now the first two major parts of, um, or three major parts of our um, mini hairstyle that has been done. So if you just have a look, a look around here, the front comes down to the same level there. And then the back here is slightly scooped. Now, what we want to do is we want to elevate that scoop. Like we want to 
elevate that right up the front there. But there is a way that we do this and um, it also creates a little bit of layering. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, establish where our client wants um, her, uh, her MIDI to start and we're going to aim for it to be probably around about here. What we do is we section from the top of the head. So right at the top, right at the crown, and then we section all the way back into the very first section that we cut. And just so we've got that little bit of a guideline there. And we're actually going to be going beyond that in a little while, but now, so we want um, Dolly's page boy to sit about here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut a little guideline in there and we're going to want that angle to meet up. So I'm gonna cut all those corners off. Now we're not gonna go and do that really crudely and cut it like that, otherwise you'll just end up with choppy messy bits everywhere. But we're going to actually do this by taking sections and bringing everything forward. So first of all, you start at your parting and then, in the same way, we section it down on this angle here. So just measuring up our guide there. We're going to bring that all the way out the front and take those edges off there. Again and take off. So you can actually see now we're actually starting to get that shape in there. You can see that's happening quite nicely. Again, bringing all of this hair forward and using the last section as your guideline, we're going to be bringing all of that forward, Cutting those ends off so you can see we're actually starting to get that beautiful shape there. It really is very simple. All you're doing is just following all the lines that you've cut before and bringing it all forward towards you and everything matches up perfectly. Where that bend is, we're going to just round that off. There we go, look at that, it's looking pretty nice, isn't it? And you guys said this would be hard. Goodness me. Now, um, let's do the same to the other side. And then we're gonna meet that on this side. So pull it in the direction how you want it to sit. And then, we'll chop our guideline in there. Now let's continue and do exactly the same thing on the other side. And as we did before, just bring everything up to the guideline and then pull it forward and then, naughty dolly, and then just pull it all forward and then follow the guideline all around the back to meet the other side. You can see now, as we pull the sections from around the back, we can actually meet them up to the sections that we've cut around the front, which is going to create that beautiful scoop. Now we're just gonna tidy it all up. There we go, so there's our basic MIDI haircut. As you can see, she goes down at an angle like that, a lot longer down the back. Now, obviously, if you want to have a, um, a more dramatic MIDI, you start um, the front areas um, a little bit higher, and then you basically cut a little bit in further towards the face. But let's blow dry her and um, see how she looks. So I'm going to be um, blow drying. Sorry if I've got a little bit blown out there. Um, I'm going to be blow drying Dolly's hair with um, about a one inch brush here, and make sure it's nice and clean. And then we're going to be spraying some of this stuff in, poison apple setting spray. I like to blow dry with it. I think it holds really, really, really nicely. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out um, online. I'll put a link down below. And start your blow drying. 
And coming in at number two is how to blow dry a MIDI haircut. Well, it's very simple. You just like literally blow dry it how you blow dry your own hair. Or if you're a professional hairstylist, um, you know how to section the hair. Just take like, like one inch sections from the back and blow dry it down. I tend to like using a very small, um, small brush and just flick the ends under and you'll get this gorgeous um, smooth shape that sort of kicks in around your client's face. When you're blow drying hair, I tend to use the hottest heat and <laughs> the fastest speed, and but don't hold on the hair for too long, otherwise you'll burn it. And also that useless little button that you thought was useless is not so useless because it's the cold shot button and that's what you actually use to freeze the hair into shape. Um, guys, <laughs> check this out. This is your classic classic mini. Let me just lift her up. Let's bring her a little bit closer so you can have a look. So she's nice and short around the front. We've got that beautiful line around there. And she's longer at the back like the typical horseshoe haircut. Beautiful swing through her as well. And very, very, very ever so gently layered because of like how we pulled all of the hair forward. Now, um, I'm going to style her up actually. So um, just give me two secs. Okay, so I'm actually going to now be styling Dolly up using um, my fantastic poison apple setting spray. This stuff is amazing. And um, also, I'm going to be like dressing her out using the poison apple toffee apple pomade. Um, I'm going to do one or two sections, but I'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing. That's going to be for another video, okay? Do you guys want another video? Say yes! 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 Of course you do! If you do, you have to um, hit that like button and also subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you the very, very, very first section. And now coming in at number one, how to style the MIDI haircut. I'm sure everyone out there has got their favourite ways of styling vintage hairstyles. Um, my personal favourite products are the um, Poison Apple products, which was made by me. And um, <laughs> you can actually purchase those. I'll put a, like, a link in the description down below. Um, but I'm going to keep this one a little bit of a secret on how to style the hair. I'm going to um, put that in a video coming up very, very, very shortly. So what we do is we pick up a section of hair with a towel comb and we get our poison apple spray then we give that two or three sprays comb it through and then we get our I think it's a 19 millimeter um, wand and we wrap that around the hair like this making sure that you get all of the hair underneath and then wrap it around hold it there for a few seconds until it gets hot you should be able to feel it heat up and then release your wand leave the curl in there and then you set that in place with a duck bill whip So this is the completed set that I'll show you in the next video and right here I'm just back combing the hair. You need to create a lot of frizz to be able to create a lot of smoothness. That sounds pretty contradicting but using the poison apple toffee apple pomade which is a sticky gooey yummy fabulous product I'm gonna rub that in my hands and then smooth it through Dolly's hair. And there she is ladies and gentlemen. Isn't she beautiful? with the full swoop and everything, but just with a touch of, of dirt on her nose. There we go. That is the finished style of how we create this MIDI. How cool is that? 
I mean, the MIDI and the style. Well, beautiful YouTube stylist, how did you like that? It looked amazing. I think I did a pretty good job. Let me know if you think I did a good job. Um, if there's anything that you saw here that you'd like me to explain to you or anything, or if there's anything that you'd like to see in the future, please let me know in the comments section down below. And don't forget to follow and subscribe on our Instagram accounts, Buffon Delacroix and Poison Apple Hair, the product you guys should be using on your hair and your client's hair. I'm your host, Magic Michael Davids, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day, afternoon, evening, and um, yeah, let me know how you guys go with your um, MIDI hairstyles. I'd like to see some pictures. Please tag me in them, and I will see you guys next time.